So, I know I haven't posted a video in a long time, but here I am again. I'm back. And I just wanted to do a talking video because I have a lot of stuff on my mind that I thought would be great to share with you guys. So, let's get on to the talking. So, so I feel so professional. Like, I'm about to, like, give, like, a speech to an audience of professionals. So, social media has had a big influence on pretty much everybody's life, or obviously people who use social media, for a few years now, well, a long time. I remember I got my first MySpace page probably back in, like, fifth or sixth grade, which, oh my god, that's terrifying. Fifth grade? Are you kidding me? Sixth grade? I was, like, 10 or 11 and oh my god and I remember my first profile picture was like something like this with the duck face and then to the side and I had I would th I threw out the peace sign like I don't even know what I was thinking but yeah so it started with MySpace that was a big thing then Facebook Twitter Instagram Tumblr it has a big influence on a lot of people's lives and that, I guess that can be a good thing. I mean, I use Facebook to share pictures and things with my family that I don't see a lot. And Instagram, which also you share pictures with people or some people consider an art form where you can just edit pictures and share your photography and stuff like that. And there's Twitter where people vent. It's kind of like a diary. And also, what else? Tumblr, which full of pretty pictures and also kind of like a diary that is more to yourself like it's like a blog pr pretty much and I have all of those things and I use them a lot and some of the stuff that I see on these sites are just like really crazy to me like I don't know just some of the stuff people post is just crazy I mean on Facebook people post like everything like their problems like everything they post every like every single second of their life on Facebook and I mean we don't want to hear about that and sometimes that can be dangerous because there are people out there who are really creepy and on Twitter I mean there can be a lot of fights on Twitter I haven't personally been in a fight but yeah and people like take the advantage of not being in person and like posting bad stuff about people which I'm going to get to in a second and also for Instagram, so I saw this picture, well, you know how people post pictures and then they like, to be honest, or like this, and I'll write something about you, or something like that, you know, and I mean, we've all seen it, those really annoying people who do that, and unfortunately, I follow a few of those really annoying people, and this one girl, she posted a picture, and it was kind of like a to be honest kind of thing, Except it was to it was T B N which I'm pretty sure means to be negative. Which it's never good to be negative. <laughs> but anyways, so people like this picture and what she was doing was I guess texting her friends and talking about the person who liked the picture in a negative way. Like discussing their flaws and like what she didn't like about the person who liked it and I was just I was so taken aback by it I was like are you kidding me like this is awful I mean nobody wants to hear bad things about themselves you know and I mean obviously they did like the picture and they did I guess they did it voluntarily but still I mean why would you just want to talk negatively about a person like I feel so bad when I I never ever ever say anything negative about people because it is so rude and I wouldn't want the same thing to happen to me and I'm like getting really emotional right now but it's true like I wouldn't I never talk bad about people because I wouldn't want people to talk bad about me you know I, it's like treating other people how you would want to be treated that kind of thing and I was just like, 
it kind of just made me sick to my stomach that people would do this kind of thing, especially on social media, where everybody can see it. And I'm like, I was, I was just so, it was just really, really, really terrible. And it was, oh my God, I don't even know. I was just really, really disgusted by it because, I mean, and these are teenage girls. I mean, this is where your self-esteem is really low and you're trying to find yourself. And yeah, I mean, it's nice to be honest, but where do we draw the line between honesty and just being plain out mean? I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, we don't want to be like fake to a person and say, oh, I really like your hair color when you don't like her hair color. You know what I'm saying? But when you're just talking bad about like, oh, you have a big nose, you're overweight, you have a off, you have an awful smile, a crooked smile, crooked teeth. I'm just like, I mean, that's kind of like taking it too far. Yeah, you want to be honest with people, but you don't want to be mean either. You don't want to just like break down their feelings and just, I don't know. It's just really, really, it was really sad seeing that, because I would, I would never like that picture. And I mean, I can, I, I know what my flaws are, but. And, I mean, I'm sure other people do, but just, like, having somebody just fire them at me, my self-esteem would just be, like, down to the ground, below the ground, like. And usually my self-esteem is pretty high. Like, I'm, yeah, people can say whatever about me, whatever, I don't even care, but just, like, having that thrown at you by people, maybe even your friends, and having them discuss it together and may basically kind of making fun of you that's just like really awful and I I mean I'm totally past that I mean that's like kind of like middle school high school things but I feel like that just needs to stop it's just like it's crazy and I was just really sad when I saw that and I thought I needed to discuss it with you guys because I feel like it's a good topic to talk about because yeah social media has such a big influence and sometimes a bad influence because people like that do that people make fun of other people online just because they're not in person and they can do that and it might make them feel better it's just it's crazy and I mean I don't know my mind is just everywhere right now I don't know what to say so basically I feel like this is more about being honest and being mean like where do you guys draw the line from being honest and being mean I mean there's a definite line I mean there's a way you can be honest and be nice and there's just just being straight out like cruel and that's not a good thing I feel I feel like I don't know and I mean that is somebody that's people's personalities people just are brutally honest but I mean, some people can't handle it. Like, I'm definitely not brutally honest, but I'm also not fake. So, I want your guys' opinions. Where do you draw the line from honest and mean? It's a pretty good question, I think. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this talk video. If you want more um, videos like this, give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below check out all my links and I will see you guys later. Bye.